Chill Wind Echoes are extremely important regents in classic World of Warcraft. They can only be obtained in Winter Spring after you complete the quest that this chick gives you. You come get luck be with you. Collect ten frostmall shards for Witch Doctor Marurai and ever look. So, we have to do this quest to get an item which will enable us to loot the frostmall echoes. So it looks like we have to head down to where the frostmall giants spawn, and I think we can just straight up pick the crystals up off the ground. All right, perfect. So these are the shards we need. I know they drop off the bosses, but I'm pretty sure they also just spawn like randomly on the ground all around like this. So my plan is to just loot 10 of them off the ground. That was easy. All right, so we are back with Witch Doctor Morai. We give her the shards, and we should be good to go. Speak to Witch Doctor Mari in a moment. It's so weird how they make you do that, but here it is, Brock Age. Remember, you have to carry it with you. Why don't you head back to the wilds and see where you'd be finding there? Good to nice. meet you. All right, so we got the cash. This is the item you need. That will just when you're killing mobs, they will loot frost malls now. So. We got the cash, we reset the kills. Now, the question is, what are we doing? Today, we're gonna kill 500 Chill Wind Ravagers, the giant chimeras. And I'm pretty sure the best spot to do it would be right here, north of Everlook. I love Winter Spring, it's so barren. It's barren, but not empty. Like, there's still things to look at. Okay, here we go, Chill Wind Ravager. Should be able to cleave two of them down at a time. So I think the plan is to just stay in this general area all day. <laughs> so we didn't get one on our first two kills. Now what's great about these chill wind echoes are, you know, they classic or uh, Blizzard just did a big thing about banning multiboxers, right? The people that would fucking use like six characters at once to just mm -hmm. basically cheese the game. And that's bannable now. If you use if you use a, a program that mimics keystrokes, you can get banned. And what that basically means is certain farms like these frost small echoes should go up in value because there's less cheaters or multiboxers of using the farm. Which is good for people like us, because we can actually make some money off these farms. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so happy Blizzard decided to ban the multiboxers. That is such a step in the right direction. It's it's a shame they only did it, really, because they care about retail, but... Still, they did it, so it makes me happy. So there we go. Our first chill win echo. Is that seven kills? Seven kills for our first one. Now, these are great. They're used for frost resistance gear, but they're also used for a, fo a frost resistance buff, which means that there will be a constant need for chill wind echoes come phase six, because people, everybody's gonna want their frost resistance buffs to fight, I think it's Saffron? So everybody's gonna need a bunch of frost resistance gear. Another chill wind echo, they've been dropping pretty frequently. At 90 kills we have eight, so that's I think that's about what it should be. I'm cont I wish I could hold on to these Echoes, but, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm going to obviously sell them. But, I, like I said, I, I know they're only going to go up and up and up with the recent changes to the multi-boxers and the fact that every person is going to be needing the Frost Resistance buff for Nax. I, I would recommend to you guys, if you do this farm, probably wait a little bit, let all the multi-boxers get banned and, you know, run out of their stocks, and then start selling the Echoes. I, I think that's the play, but... Just for how easy these dudes are to kill, I'm, I'm not stressing too much about it. I see our last two right there. Let's go knock this out. 99 and 100. And like I was saying, so far, I can, I'm can i loving this spot. I My spots are good, but some of the spots that I get recommended by you guys are just incredible. So please keep the recommendations coming because I absolutely love this spot. 
And I'm not just saying that because I spent half the week killing bugs and still with this. I, I really am enjoying this. They're easy to kill, decent loot, 10 out of 10 spot. Already can tell. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's get our 99th down with a brilliant skill. And for our 100th Chill Wind Ravager, we get a forked tongue. <laughs> All right. So we somehow managed to only kill the, the Ravagers. So that's good. I'm going to try to keep doing that. Make sure nothing else gets into that mix. But I am going to throw on some tunes and knock out these last 400 kills. I will talk to you guys when we're at 500, hopefully with a T boost. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head. And I start to see. We are at 499 total kills, 484 of the Ravagers, 15 of the Chimeras did sneak in over here on the right side. I thought about resetting them, but uh, I never want to bullshit you guys, and I want to keep it as authentic as possible, and I don't really think 15 getting in really changes anything. But if you are farming the Ravagers, the Ravagers tend to spawn more in the middle, I've, I've learned over the last like five hours, um, and the Chimeras kind of spawn on the outside, but you want to stick with the Ravengers, I'm pretty sure they have an increased drop rate. All in all, so far, good loot. Nothing too crazy. No purples yet, which, when you think about the mobs we've killed on this series, it's kind of crazy we haven't gotten a perp yet, but that's all good. Let's go ahead and knock out this 500th kill and go check out the fun stuff. As usual, we're going to head to pop recklessness. And I thought the... Uh, I thought the Thick Obsidian Breastplate was going to help a lot here, but it really it didn't proc once. The So, no help with that one. But for our 500th kill, we get nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. But in total, we got a lot more than nothing. We got a decent little haul today. We didn't get that much loot, but the stuff we did get, I'm sure, is going to sell pretty decently. So starting us off, we did get 53 of the Chill Wind Echoes. 53 for 500 kills. That's actually decent, right? That's somewhere around 10%. That checks out. A Dimensional Blade of the Tiger. Those humans love their Agi Strength Sword, so this is actually probably sell for 10-15 gold. One Aquamarine. Grand Boots of Stamina. War Leader's Greaves. Glorious Leg Plates of the Boar. Oh my god. Is that TOS? And then, what? Oh god, I didn't count this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 71 Fork Ton. Forked tongues, I'm tired, I can't talk, as well as 20, 40, 60, 80, 111 brilliant scales. Around. So, not too much loot, but decent loot. Uh, looks like the innkeeper's been killed. Guess we'll have to sell over here today. Help you find so, something. we are at 9 gold, 99 silver, 40 copper, and when we sell all the vendorables from the 500 ravagers, we get... Wow, Light less than 10 less gold, only up to 17, 69, 56. Not too much gold from the vendorables, but that's not why we're there, right? We're there for the sweet, sweet auctionables. You need something? 
Man, when you look at it like this, it really doesn't look like 500 kills worth of loot, does it? But 57 echoes. Like I was saying earlier, I probably wouldn't sell these right now if I were you guys, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to put these up. I would wait if I were you guys because with the multi boxer changer, excuse me, with the multi box ban changes that Blizzard implemented, I'm sure the prices of these are going to go up. I'm going to do this sword for 15th. Agi Strength, humans love their swords. That's going to sell a bit. Aquamarine, War Leader Greaves. And then if these don't sell, I disenchant them usually. That's, that's my rule. I'll do 10 for these. Those are nice pants. All right. So all in all, the Echoes, these are going to sell in like five minutes. By the time I'm done editing this video, all that stuff's going to be sold. So I'm not sweating that farm. I like farms like that more than I like farms where you're getting like, you know, the burning crests or the uh, the small flame sacks where you're basically hanging on to them for months and months and months trying to sell them. So I don't think you'll have that problem with the Echoes. But... I'll be honest with you, that took me a long time, only because there were so many horde groups out there just ganking me nonstop, and, you know, I couldn't really stop because I'm pumping these videos out, so I forced myself to stay there, but if you don't have a horde group or a couple horde groups bullying you nonstop, I think you're going to have a fantastic time farming the Chillwind Echoes. Just be sure you do that pre-quest to get your cash, otherwise, you're just going to end up wasting a bunch of time out there. But I think that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm super tired. I will leave my Twitch up on the screen somewhere now, and just a quick thank you to every single one of you guys watching and liking and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Support's been out of this world, and you know, it's awesome, so thank you. If any of you guys have a recommendation for a spot, please let me know in the comments. I love the recommendations. You guys know, you guys can think of some crazy spots that I can't, so please, any idea, leave it below, and I will love to check it out. I got some good ones lined up for the next few days, so be sure to, you know, make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned for all that, but that's gonna do it for me, guys. I'm rambling. Take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks so much again. My name is Barack H, and I will see you guys in the next one.